Let's get into some news and rumors here. We start with the latest one that Paul Alexander is the new Cowboys offensive line coach. We are given that one four stars because it is going to be the case there. Des caught it. It's a fact. Alexander is the Cowboys' new offensive line coach, first reported by Alex Marvez of Sporting News. He comes over from the Cincinnati Bengals, where he spent 20-plus years as the team's offensive line coach. He is as veteran and experienced as they come in the NFL. We'll keep it rolling now into some Bryce Butler talking. Skip Bayless tweeted out that Bryce Butler was the number one wide receiver on the Cowboys. Butler kind of said something similar. We're giving that one the good old fake news, folks. Bryce Butler is not the best wide receiver on the Dallas Cowboys. Did he look great when he was on the field with Dak Prescott? Yeah. Should he have played over Terrence Williams? Probably so. Is he better than Des Bryant or even Cole Beasley? No, he is not. You cannot claim to be the best wide receiver on an NFL team when you haven't topped 350 yards in a season since you were in high school. So no, Bryce Butler is not the best receiver on the Cowboys. That is fake news. Some more on Bryce Butler. Will he leave the Cowboys? This one is much more likely. We are giving it three stars because Butler said if he's coming back, it's to be as a starter. And guess what, folks? Bryce Butler will not start for the Dallas Cowboys next year. So we're not giving it four stars because there is a scenario in which Butler ends up realizing that he's not going to be a starter anywhere, and he comes back just to have another year with the Cowboys. But for right now, it's not likely that he's going to come back. All right, folks, I am Tom Downey. Follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney. I have a little special edition of the Cowboys report for you today. The rumors section will do this every Monday in the offseason going forward, catching up on all the latest rumors and news around the Dallas Cowboys. And if this is your first time watching the show, you'll see the stars throughout. Here's what they mean. Zero stars, it's the Eagles Super Bowl rings. They've got zero. It's fake news. It's not a real thing. One star, is there's a small shred of truth. You know, it could happen, but it's probably not going to. Two stars means the people are talking. There's some buzz around this one, but it's still very firmly in the rumor category. Three stars means it's pretty likely we think it's going to happen, but it's not quite official yet. And then four stars, Dez caught it. It's a fact. It is 100% going to happen. So with that in mind, let's get now to some more news and rumors. Is the halfbacks coach for the Dallas Cowboys, Gary Brown, going to return? Yes, he will. This one is also Four stars. This one has been confirmed by the team. Originally first reported by Todd Archer of ESPN. Gary Brown will come back and be the Cowboys halfbacks coach for another year. Had interest from the Texans and the Raiders. Didn't get the Raiders job and he's staying in Dallas. Some more coaching rumors for you. About Miles Austin as the team's wide receivers coach. He has interviewed and that's why we're giving this one two stars. Again, this one coming from ESPN as the first one to, to report this rumor. We're putting it at two stars for now because I do think that Miles Austin is the favorite to get the job, but he's not the only candidate, so it sticks with two stars because former Colts wide receivers coach Sanjay Lal is also in the mix here. Both of these will get two stars here as Lal was most recently the Colts wide receivers coach, has also coached for the Bills and the Jets in the past, but it's two stars for both Lal and Austin. They appear to be the top candidates right now for the Cowboys' wide receiver coach position. How about some more positional coaches, and namely on the defensive side of the ball, at linebackers, Matt Eberflus has been heavily connected to the Colts' job, taking it if Josh McDaniels gets the head coaching position. If that happens, that does seem pretty likely, but we're going with two stars because there's a lot of if and then in this scenario. Namely, if McDaniels gets the job, then Eberflus could do it, neither of which is set in stone, especially because the Titans have fired Mike Malarkey and they could make a big run at Josh McDaniels. So I do think Eberflus leaves this offseason, but I don't know if it's going to be to the Colts quite yet. Back to the player side of the ball here. The Cowboys have signed a safety. Marqueston Huff, a.k.a. Quest, has signed a futures deal with the Dallas Cowboys. The team has confirmed that. A fourth-round pick out of Wyoming a few years ago has bounced around the league for the Titans, the Ravens, a couple other spots as well, the Chiefs and the Bucks among them. He has signed. It's four stars. As for whether or not he makes the team, not quite as likely. Looks kind of more like a camp body unless he really surprises. But keep an eye on the former fourth-round pick out of Wyoming. 
Some more players news and rumors here. Jonathan Coop, we mentioned on a recent Cowboys report that he was okay, but he did undergo surgery. This one is indeed four stars, has been confirmed. Now, Cooper didn't suffer a serious knee injury by any means. It was really just a sprained MCL, kind of more of a cleanup procedure just to make sure nothing's going on with the knee and get it fully healthy. So it's not a, a severe tear of the ACL or MCL. He's going to be okay, but it is four stars. He did undergo surgery. Some more positional coaches here. Let's get to our 10th rumor, Pete Metzelars as a potential tight ends coach. This one was first reported by Mike Fisher, and it'd be a very interesting hire because Metzelars is currently a high school offensive coordinator. He is not in the NFL right now. He is off doing different jobs. He was the Colts tight ends coach. He's been with the Chargers in the past as well. A former Buffalo Bills tight ends with, with Jim Kelly. It'd be a fascinating hire because he has not been in the NFL for two years now. But it, we're giving it two rumors because although I'd be surprised if he does get hired, he's the only one to interview thus far. So keep an eye on him there as the potential future tight ends coach for the Dallas Cowboys. Speaking of tight ends, how about Jason Witten? Could he replace John Gruden? as the Monday Night Football color commentator? No, this one's not gonna happen, folks. This one is classic fake news. The Dallas Morning News ran this in one of their recent articles. It's like, oh, hey, could Jason Witten replace John Gruden? As pure speculation with zero sources are behind it. Folks, this is not gonna happen. Jason Witten's gonna come back. He's gonna be the tight end for next year as the starter. And then maybe he becomes the tight end's coach, but he is not joining ESPN anytime soon. All right, one final rumor for you guys. This one I saw quite a bit on Twitter when the Jaguars beat the Steelers was passing on Jalen Ramsey and Miles Jack a mistake. And I'll preface this by saying, as producer Brett Scott can affirm, I was a big fan of Jalen Ramsey, and that is who I wanted the Cowboys to take in the NFL draft, not Ezekiel Elliott. But I'm still giving this one just one star because I don't think it's a fair conversation to have or a realistic one either. Yeah, you can play the what-if game, but I think the Cowboys and their offense have benefited from having Ezekiel Elliott on the team. And we haven't seen full-fledged Jalen Smith yet. So yeah, it'd be nice to have Ramsey and Jack, but the Cowboys remain in good shape as things stand right now. Maybe they could have swapped out a halfback later, but I'm giving this one just one star right now. It was not a mistake to pass on Ramsey and Jack because Ezekiel Elliott and Jalen Smith are going to be studs for this Dallas Cowboys team. All right, folks, once again, I am Tom Downey. Follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney for all the latest Cowboys news and rumors. We'll see you again on Thursday for the full-fledged Cowboys report and then again next Monday for all the latest news and rumors. But that will do it for us, and you guys stay classy out there.